of DLC material. You there. You have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. You need it more than me. Here, take it. A generous gift. Thank you. What do they call you, stranger? I'm the messenger of Zeus, but you can call me Alexios. And you are? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus in Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mound Taigetos. So tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great bow stood ready to punish the Kephalonians below. Or so I would... There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. A story always began as we rounded the hilltops. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a... Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians no peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. Sure. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe... If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man Hired to kill me. A killer of kings, hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. The Acro Corinth? Oh, don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. You did say Mount Aivietos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans. That... Uh, that's not exactly right. 
What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. The Papyrus says it was written by Themistocles, the Athenian general. This Papyrus is so old. Could this be writing by Themistocles? <laughs> Yeah, I have to do all those and then come back. 